能力者そうじゃと言ったらどうする殺す。My friends, how are you feeling about Sasaki and Peeps? I, you know, just if you're clicking on the video, you know, sound out. This is episode five that we're covering today of Sasaki and Peeps. I just want to know how you feel about this show. Let me know in the comments down below. Are you hot? Are you cold? Are you hype? Are you sad? Are you mad? Or whatever that feeling is, let me know in the comments because I'm assuming that the majority of you, maybe not all of you, but the majority of you watching my episode five review probably just got done watching episode five. Maybe you watched it earlier today. Maybe you watched it, what you know, days after and you came to find my video. Whatever the case is, I'm assuming you've watched the show. If you haven't, thank you just for hanging out and checking out one of my videos. I appreciate you. You are the very best. But here's the thing. With, with episode five of Sasuke and Peeps, it's like I'm 50-50. I'm, I'm hot and cold. I'm a little bit... um. I'm a little bit disappointed and the show's written how it's written. And I don't think it has anything to do with studio silver link. I don't think it has anything to do with, uh, you know, direction or like, I don't think it has anything to do with the anime studio, like animation, uh, voice act, nothing. I think it's simply how the story is written. And I don't know how I'm feeling about like, Magical girls and magic and fairies and I think it's doing too much. And it's okay for a show to do a lot. It's, it's not working though. And I, I'm i completely cool with the fact of Guy finds Bird. Bird ends up being mage, mage from another world. Uh, and, you know, he's able to travel back and forth. And I like the stuff that's happening in the other world with Mueller and the king and he has a restaurant and he's solidifying himself as an important person over there. But in the real world, you know, there's now these sidekicks and apparently there's also magic. And in a way, it kind of makes sense of like, well, if the bird got here, obviously there's some kind of portal or other people exist. It's, it's very rare that you're the only one of your kind kind of thing. So in a in a way it kind of makes sense, but the execution of uh, he you know he's a sidekick he you know he joins this psychic you know uh, place, and now you have these magical girls pop up and they're like a separate entity. He's magic of like isekai nature. You have psychics who are just inherent like you know uh, power users, and, and then you have this other subgenre now of you have these girls, seven girls around the world that are magical girls that were seemingly gifted their powers through fairies for whatever reason. And I just feel like it's too much. And it's it's kind of all over the place. It, it, it's, it's taking us here, taking us back here. And it's a little messy and I'm not really feeling it. I'm not feeling the magical girl thing. And don't get me wrong. I love sailor moon, a uh, pretty cure. Like I, you know, I have nothing wrong with magical girl stuff. Like I love magical girl, uh, anime, but that's not what we signed up for here. At least that's not what I signed up for. Let me not put you in the same bucket as me. That's not what I signed up for here. And I'm a little bit about it. Like, I just don't know how I feel. And, um, I think it's not even the magical girl piece of it. It's really just like, it's a mess. It's kind of just a little bit of everywhere. Uh, and then you have this 16 year old who like you have the, you know, his he, the little lowly collection. It's just a lot. And I hope it gets better because there's a lot of potential here, but I am not feeling it. And this episode, you know, there's a time paradox apparently with time not, not calculating the right way. And, um, you know, he, he's, you know, he's working for the bureau and the next door neighbor has his eye on her and, you know, she's going to come in the mix some way. Is she also a magical girl? Is she going to turn into one? What's going to be her deal? Uh, then you have Hoshizaki, his other lowly. And then I have his, you know, the other lowly. And then you have this other magical girl who's going to be a lowly. And then like, and that's not even a big deal to be honest. Like, you know, like, Hey, 40 year old lowly collector. Okay, sure. Whatever. It's just the messiness of that world, which I feel like I like the stuff in that world. But then the Japan world, I just I'm not a big fan of the things going on in Japan. And then them introducing another like third string or another third element with the magical girl stuff. 
it's like, okay, I feel like, okay, I feel like we're taking on too much, but we're not doing, like, we're only doing maybe, like, one of them really well. And then the rest of them are just, like, they're, it's just not working for me. So, anyways, I'll keep it short. This episode didn't work for me. I didn't very much enjoy it. Uh, animation's good, you know, voice acting's good. I just didn't enjoy the episode. So, that's kind of where I'm at. I'm not going to drag out the video. I'm just going to say, like, that's it. That's, that's how I feel. Let me know who you think, and uh, I'm going to be here next episode. Like I said, there's a lot of potential here. Episode 1 of Sasuke and Peace is one of the best episode 1s I've seen in a long time. So, really, really loved it, but, like, man, I'm just so disappointed. All right, let me know what you guys thought. All right, peace.